Good morning, everybody, and happy, happy Tuesday. <clears throat> it's about 10.30 a.m. I've been awake for about an hour. Um, I just haven't felt good the past couple days, especially yesterday and last night. I think from Saturday night, wait, no, from Sunday night, because I went to sleep early Sunday till, la till yesterday. Basically, in the past 48 hours, I've slept probably about 35 hours or so of that. Um, I just hadn't felt good. So, And it's like I get so tired of taking medicine, like constantly, constantly, constantly. And then, you know, it's like my body is so damn dependent upon this medicine that if I sleep through it or I miss it, I get even sicker. And so, like, I'm just going to show y'all. This is usually what my day starts with. Okay. I don't know if you can see them. All those medicines, okay? Not to mention the patches that I'm wearing. I wear two fentanyl patches um, kind of on my lower belly at one time. Um, and so, I've been debating whether or not to try to start weaning off of all this medication and pain medication because I just get so tired of it. And... I guess with all of the sleeping that I've done the past couple of days, I've missed so much of my medication that that's what woke me up this morning at 930 was excruciating pain. Like we're talking, I couldn't even shut my mouth. I was just stuck like this. It hurt so bad. Like I couldn't even talk. I was having to try to talk like that because that's how bad my entire head and face and skull and my jaws, the roots of my teeth, my eye sockets, everything hurts so bad from like where the tumor is all the way around. So I call it my bag of pain because it's like putting a bag over your head. So I guess that just proved that I'm not going to be able to get off these medications anytime soon because my body can't handle the extreme pain. And I have a very high tolerance for pain, people. When I say my pain level is at a 2 that's like everybody else's, like, you know, 14. When I say I'm at, like, a 7, that's 483 for everybody else. Um, like I said, not many people take fentanyl, morphine, and Dilaudid all together, like I did this morning, an hour ago. Do I look high? Do I look loopy? Am I slurring? Am I nodding off? No. And this with Dilaudid, with morphine, and with um, fentanyl patches, which I'm not going to show you all, but I wear them down here. Because basically, your body, you have to put the fentanyl patches where there's the most fat. <laughs> and being that I don't really have much fat, and so my belly skin, where my belly tummy hangs, <laughs> my skin, that's where there's, that's the only place I have fat. And so that's where they have to go. But And so I wear one for 48 hours, and... I wear them each for 48 hours, but it's like I alter, they alternate. So it's like I have one on for two days, one for three, then switch, so one for two, then one for three. Yeah, it's weird the way we do it, but, um, but yeah, so, but even with, like I said, with those super, super high, um, pain meds, along with the other medicines that I'm on, it, it doesn't, my pain will never fully go away. Um, and most people couldn't handle the excruciating pain, they say, that comes with it. Um they're surprised that I'm even handling it this well on pain meds, so, um, but yeah, it's just frustrating, because I just, like, I know this is going to be the rest of my life, is looking at medicine bottles, and I'm sick of it, so, but, now when I was in the kitchen making coffee this morning, I guess I missed a call from my neuro-oncologist, and they want to see me a little bit earlier than before so they changed the appointments up a little bit um because we're trying to to push my next scan out to july um just to see how we do you know she asked me if i'd want to try that try to go you know five six months and i was like yes because i would just you know i'd like to see because in my book if we can go five or six months on no treatment and without a scan and it still shows stable then that's a really good sign so yeah I, well, i'd like to push it and see and if not, we'll deal with it. It kind of makes me nervous that she's calling, bumping it up. But, you know, oh, well, she's the boss lady. So, um, but, yeah, oh, well, it is what it is. So, and I'm not having a bad day. I'm just hurting today and just 
just a little <laughs> but it's gonna be a good day my mommy comes home tomorrow so that's good because I've missed her bunches so but anyways I'm gonna finish my coffee watch a little TV take all these stupid meds um but yeah so it's redonkulous And bring it with me. <laughs> oh, Lordy. This is ridiculous, people. Just ridiculous. Okay. It's like, who has to start out with all this medicine first thing in the morning? No. <laughs> no more. No mas. Okay, well, I said that until today, and then I started taking it again, because uh, it was either that or blow my brains out to get rid of the pain. <laughs> so, but, oh, my nose is trying to run, because I'm crying. It's a tear coming down. I'm putting new little teeny nose rings in. Y'all can barely even see them, because I lost one of my big ones. So, okay, try this again. Goodbye. Love you.